cold but bright. The day after Boxing Day. I'm sorry there's no footage of us setting off or, the, um, or anything prior to this because my new V4, which they sent from France, failed. It looked like it was um, recording, little light going and everything, but when I got home, nothing. That's my new one to replace the other one that doesn't work very well. Oh dear, well, there you go. So I should be speaking to them when they reopen. <laughs> but anyway, this is uh, hopefully uh, quite a nice little ride out for you on the 27th of December on Apollo. We haven't been out for a little while because the weather is so bad. Just raining all the time, really soggy and awful. So this isn't a place, but this isn't a bridleway that I normally go on. Wait, wait, no. Go on. Um, because it's short and then you're onto the road. Um, so you've got some road work to do, whichever way you go out of this particular farm. Back, back, follow. Back. Good boy. water standing there. It's like a little lake, isn't it? I'm pleased to say our, our field isn't like that, but it is very squelchy. And canter. This is a public bridleway and it used to have a sign on um, but you'll notice come back come back there's no sign now is there now you see people do this which is very naughty 
you know, so you could be forgiven for wandering about up there to the farm, couldn't you? If I saw them, I'd certainly mention people might go in the wrong way. I think it's to discourage us riders. Because if you don't see the sign, you get a bit worried, don't you? I think that's a bit naughty. Right, so a little trot on then. sign there either. Luckily, those people that don't know <laughs> about um, where it is, there is one there, look. So that's good, pointing people in the right direction. A little canter on this grass verge, a little collected canter, and back, steady, <laughs> set off with a big surge then, <laughs> slow. And trot, trot, good boy, and walk. On him. He must realise we're going home because he was set off with quite a jump in his canter when I asked him to do a little collected canter on that bit of verge. So a bit strong in the uh, hand then when he did that, but nothing, nothing nasty. But might, for Wrens that might have been a little bit of a oof, moment. <laughs> Not that he's into his cantering yet. Um, um, I might just talk a little bit about um, why I clip Apollo's uh, fetlocks because I'm often asked this <laughs> and so I'm going to say it <laughs> again <laughs> while, um, while I've got your attention <laughs> I'm talking to the newcomers I'm obviously not talking to um, those of you who've been with me a long time and know why I do it <laughs> Right, we'll just see if we can turn round here and let this car go past you. It's always best to face the car. So that they don't get um, worried about what that noise is behind them because of course they can't see directly behind them. Right, so fetlocks, this time of year you do need to look for the signs of mud fever. Having the fetlocks um, clipped it makes it much easier for us to see if there's any signs of mud fever. I also personally like a clean leg. I'm not into um, hairy legs and feet. I'll just, I'm just not. Um, but I appreciate that people think it's sacrilege for me to put um, a Frisian's fetlocks, but I don't show, and it's my horse, so I can do it <laughs> without approval. <laughs>
so you can see there we are Whoop. so there you can see public bridal way and uh, that road's a byway Tubular Hills Walk and there's see that's what that gate should have that gate where they've renewed it and not kept that is um, that's what they should have on there so that uh, people know which way to go so we'll have a little canter along here and canter going to be a muddy mess when we get back. <laughs> Right, I'll just stop here a moment so you can see where we are. So that is the way we came this morning and we went down there and then we went round and back. So we're just going to go back home now. leather around the corner do we? Good boy. Well done, good boy. Slower. Slower. That was a bit slippy then. I don't know if you realise that he had a real slip on, but he's uh, he found his fifth leg and stayed up, so that was good. Again, you'll recognise where we are. This is the uh, pipe which covers the cables for the internet and that is for the cauldron which we see near the uh, little waterfall over the bridge. Hello. <laughs> Steady.
join us tomorrow to see how Apollo does at the Ford, which has even more water in it now, about 20 inches. I hope you've enjoyed riding out on Apollo. If you have, don't forget a thumbs up, please. And don't forget, we do like to read your comments. TTFN.